In class, we did an activity called uh, parent weight, which used Newton's second law, which we now know uh, can be expressed this way. Sum of the forces on an object equals the mass of the object times its acceleration. And uh, in this activity, uh, people stood on a scale, uh, old-fashioned spring scale. They uh, rapidly lowered their center of mass, and they also started low and rapidly raised their center of mass. We made uh, force diagrams. The force diagrams uh, here is standing on the scale, not moving. Gravitational force down is balanced by the normal force up. Here is rapidly lowering the center of mass of the person. Their weight doesn't change. The gravitational pull of the Earth on their mass, that doesn't change. The mass of the Earth doesn't change. The mass of the person doesn't change. So that's the same. And since the scale went down in what it was reading briefly, that means the normal force must be less. Uh, and then when they start low and push up, uh, again, gravitational force doesn't change compared to the other situations. But momentarily, the scale reads a higher value. And that must be uh, it's because the object is accelerating upwards. Uh, the upward force, which is the normal force, must be greater than the downward force. And... Uh, that's what the force diagram looks like. So we have a series of questions are asked for each situation uh, that draw attention to the acceleration. Uh, is it accelerating? What direction is the acceleration? Uh, what's the direction of the net force? These must be the same by rule of second law. And then to compare the two forces that are present. When there is acceleration, one force is greater than the other. Um, it turns out in this case, the normal force is changing, just as the reading on the scale was changing. And that is what we call the apparent weight. An apparent weight is the normal force in a situation where there is vertical acceleration. And uh, in simple terms, it's whatever the scale says. So if there was a scale the person is on and they're accelerating or uh, then it's whatever the scale says. If there is no scale, it's what the scale would say uh, if it were there. What is the normal force on an, uh, an object accelerating vertically? Maybe in a rocket ship, in an elevator. Um, uh, there's lots of situations we can think of. And on the next page, we did an example using this reasoning. And uh, a person in an elevator, 60 kilograms, with a given acceleration downward. We draw a force diagram, uh, calculate the weight of the person using their mass, uh, and um, realize uh, the net force by Newton's second law. We calculate it because we know the mass of the person, we know the acceleration. So a simple product tells us the net force on the object. In this case, there's downward acceleration, so the net force is negative, it's downward. And then using a net force equation, uh, filling in what we know and what we don't know, we know the net force, we know the gravitational force, we can figure out the normal force, what the scale reads. And if the person were on a scale in this elevator, it would read 510 newtons instead of 600 newtons, which is their actual weight. This is the apparent weight. In the second example, which we did not get to in class, and you can see here, uh, a person standing on the scale as it, the elevator descends, and it is accelerating, the scale says the person's weight is 300 newtons. Uh, it's, let's suppose it's the same person. So if that's the case, then 600 newtons is the gravitational pull down. If 300 newtons, this, this is what the scale is reading. Remember, that's the apparent weight. That's the normal force. So in this case, we're actually given the normal force which is 300 newtons, not upwards. So uh, we want to know the acceleration. Well, uh, Newton's second law allows us to calculate acceleration if we know the sum of the forces and the mass. We know both forces here, so we do know the sum of the forces. We know that we have uh, 300 newtons up combined with 600 newtons down, and all that divided by the mass of the person. It's the same person as above, so that's 60 kgs. So acceleration is going to be uh, minus 300 newtons divided by 60 kgs, and that is going to be minus 5, and the units for acceleration are going to be meters per second squared. All right, so similar thinking on the worksheet for tonight. It was handed out. Uh, it's going to require 
uh, a force diagram. It's going to require in second law, and uh, I think you're going to need to rely on net force equations as well. So uh, please give that a good effort and have it ready tomorrow.